this is Julie from Northwest Permaculture Convergence with a tutorial on how to manage our Zoom account. And the brief why is right here in this first paragraph. Um, and the reason is because there's only five gigabytes of storage. We don't want to pay for storage at Zoom when we can have unlimited storage at our YouTube channel. So we delete YouTube videos so that we don't lose our ability to record because we've stored more than our limit of five gigabytes, which is disappointing when you've got you've got a speaker scheduled or a community meeting you want to record. Um, so we need someone to regularly um, go in and manage our Zoom recordings. Uh, this will be a part of our handbook uh, or guide or board manual, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> with lots of information to help new board members and helpers and volunteers um, take care of the organization, basically. All right, here's the three steps in a nutshell. Step one, download Zoom recordings. Step two, upload it to the recordings to YouTube and also list or index the recordings in uh, a Google Sheet and number three is delete from Zoom. So they, I have the details here, the, the step by step, part one Zoom, part two YouTube, and part three is delete from Zoom, plus some additional Zoom management that you might want to keep track of here, down here. But right now let's go ahead and dive into step number one. Log into Zoom. All right, zoom.us. I don't know why that is. Hmm. I believe it's just zoom.us. And you sign in here. Where you get the sign in information is the document where we keep track and update all of our login information. This document accessible to board members, authorized members, uh, or helpers. And let's go ahead and log in. All right, so we're gonna start by going to recordings on the left side. Here it is, recordings. All right, so here you can see all these different recordings. Um, sometimes you can see a banner at the top if we're getting close or for over limit different colored backgrounds. This says that we are, uh, your account has used 80% of the available cloud recording storage. Um, manage your recordings or purchase additional storage. So we don't want to pay for that. We have unlimited storage at YouTube. Here's all these different recordings. The default name is NW Permaculture Personal Meeting Room. Um, you can rename it as soon as you know what it is. Um, for example, I did this tutorial I attempted to do it with Patricia and so I renamed it here as you can see it's different um, I'm gonna pick a small one to upload to YouTube so we have the sizes here's three megabytes that looks like a good one very tiny so we'll look and see what this is um, it looks like I went to the calendar and found out that we had a meeting on uh, the date March 11th, 6.55 p.m. That's the time that we, um, 7 o'clock when we do our board meeting. So I renamed it. And I, you can rename it up here too. <clears throat> so when you're out looking at the previous page where there's a list of all of them, um, you know which one you just worked on. Okay, so if you click this, you're going to download all the files. This one only has two, but sometimes you have a chat, you have different views of the, the video, speaker view, gallery view, etc., cetera, um, and audio. If you want to download everything, you click this. If you just want to download the uh, YouTube video, you can click um, this arrow here, or you can open it up and click download. Sometimes you want to open it up and watch it for a minute so you know what it is. 
and then um, there is a download link up here in the upper right also. I'll close that. So I'm just going to download it here, from here. Do you use this month? All right, so this is being saved in my files and folders in my own computer. So you decide where you want that to be. I use my video folder um, and I have a specific folder for uh, Northwest Permaculture Zoom meetings. We just renamed it, so that should still be on my clipboard. I'm going to name the file. Um, I like to actually put the date in the beginning of the file name, not the end. Um, that way, if you ever need to look at them and sort them by name, you can sort by the date. And the format should be <clears throat> month, month, so 03, day, day, the 11th, um, and then year, 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 so 2024. Board meeting. Save. Okay, now that was a really short, um, this downloaded very quickly, so um, it's completed downloading down here in the lower left. I'm going to show in folder. That's my favorite way of now, if you wanted to download the chat or maybe the AI summary, you might want to make a new folder with the same name. 03-11-2024 board meeting. Okay, and then put all of the, Like if you have a chat file also, you can put it in one folder and have everything in there. <clears throat> um, let's just pretend we downloaded a chat. You, you can see some of these have chats. Let's see which one has chats. Let's pick one with lots of files. This one has lots of files. This one has it. A shared screen view, it's got a gallery view, it's got a speaker view, it's got scared, shared screen with gallery view, shared screen with speaker view. Oh, but it doesn't have a chat. <laughs> so you only need to pick one of those videos. Pick the one with screen sharing. <laughs> you know, it's kind of frustrating to be watching a screen sharing that doesn't show up. Um, I'm trying to pick one that has a chat here. I don't know if we'll find one. There's a chat file. So. Uh, Let's just pretend this is from the same recording <laughs> and put it in here for the demonstration. And um, we'll just call it the chat. Okay. Open in folder. We're going to see now that we've got in, in this folder for this particular recording, starting with date, we've got the video and the chat. And if we wanted to save the AI, um, which is good to put the chat and this in the <coughs> video description, um, we just find the one for that date. There it is, the 11th. Open it up. Let's see, I'm finding the date here. Open it up. Copy everything. And I'm going to put that in another text file. I just highlighted everything and copied it. So back to our folder for this particular recording. I like to use text files because they're small instead of Word documents or whatever. So I'm just going to call this AI. And paste it. And save it. Okay. So obviously the only thing we can actually upload is the video, but in the video description you can put the AI and the chat texts. Um, so let's go back over to our tutorial and see where we are. Log into Zoom, find the login there, check storage space available. Um, there is some information about checking storage space. Where did I put that?
Ah, here it is. I'm going to move this up. So check storage space available to see if we're running out of space. Basically, if there's any recordings, you should do this process and delete them. So, uh, but if you wanted some inform some more information about how to do that, um, to see how much of our five gigabout storage is available, you can go to account management, recording management, and or account management inside of that is recording management. If you're logged in, you can click on this link, and you can actually see how many gigabytes and what percentage is used of our five gigabytes. Remember this warning up at the top, your account has used 80%. Well, that kind of matches with this. We need to do this process so that we can delete all these recordings and get our storage back down to zero so that we can have room to record more. Okay, here we go. We are looking at this. You can also view a graph um, by following these steps. That's uh, basically a Zoom support where you can um, you can go down to you can follow those steps separately. But this is you go down to account management and then um, where is it reports and see a graph over time of the usage. Oops, you have to go to cloud recordings. There it is. A um, lot of uses in the last few days. But you, sh you can also see that our maximum is 5 gigabytes and we're getting pretty close at 4.64. 4 um, so there's a couple ways of looking at how close you are to filling up your storage. <coughs> So we're gonna. We looked at the Zoom recordings, and uh, we saved the uh, save the chat file and AI. Um, I should say from Zoom AI. And we showed how to do that. So that was that was here, AI Companion. It's right below recording. AI Companion's right here. Right below recordings on the left. All right, where are we now? Is that completing step one? Download the files. We've done that. We can open show in folder the files we've downloaded and we save the AI in chat. So that completes part one. Now let's start part two, logging into YouTube. So what you need for this is you need to be in your, well again you go get the login information from this document where we keep our login information and we don't use our main um, info at account um, this one info at Northwest that's our main um, Google account we use a separate one for our YouTube channel and that one is NWPCC media at gmail so once you log in it's pretty easy to just use this click on the profile in the upper right and have this here but you'll need to add another account um, and actually log into it. <clears throat> so the way you do that, the way you log in, is you go to whatever Gmail account you um, you use and like I said you add another account and log in. I am logged in here so now I would need to be able to get to YouTube Normally these um, Google apps, these nine dots, are not colored. Um, I use a special Chrome extension that helps me with my Google apps. These are usually gray. But anyways, you go to these, this Google apps and you choose YouTube. And if you, if you want to put this in a different order, 
um, you can you can drag whatever you want up to the top. Like if you use your Gmail, you use the Drive, you use the calendar, you use YouTube, you can put those at the top like I have. Anyways, I'm going to click on YouTube from being logged into that account. Again, this is the correct account, nwpccmedia at gmail.com. And um, I'm going to click the plus, create, and upload a video. Alright, here's where we get to drag and drop the video file to upload. So we're going to navigate in our files and folders where we've created this folder for this particular recording. Go inside of it and just drag the video file over to drag and drop it and there it is. You can uh, change the title if you want. You might want to put some keywords here, especially if it was public. Board meetings are not. Permaculture. We forgot the L. Okay. So you can change the title if you want, and you can add the description. One of the things I encourage people to do with YouTube is to put the website URL first in the description. That way, if people find th things, find our videos, they have somewhere that they can click to get more information. They can find your website, northwestculture.org. And then you put, you know, whatever description it is. This is a board meeting. Um, Northwest Irma. Culture. I mean, this isn't going to be too descriptive more than the title, but you just put a good description here, especially if it's got good content, like it's a speaker. Um, you put the uh, a lot more information about what the topic is, etc. That's good um, searchable um, keywords in there. So, okay. Um, and then in the description here, in here, but this might be a good place to put our chat. If there was something in the chat, community meetings, often people share URLs, also speakers uh, for a speaker series often put URLs and good information. Um, you might want to take personal information, contact information out, um, and maybe just clean a chat up to only use what's useful. Um, again, I would just copy and paste. This one happens to be pretty short. It's okay to put long descriptions in YouTube descriptions. This is under the video. Okay, so that's that's the extent of the chat. And then we're going to put the AI, which has a summary and next step and um, sometimes chapters, parts of the of the meeting. So that was saved in also as text. Control A should highlight everything. Control C or command those things if you're on a Mac. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And it looks like it might actually be over the limit. We've got a red thing. Oh, it, gave, it told us why it was red. Yeah, it's too big. Wow. So you'll have to decide what you want to keep. Um, the AI summary, etc., sometimes is not accurate. So um, you might want to um, go through it and correct it after your meetings. Still too much? We are. Trauma healing. Well, fortunately, this one is way too big. So there is a limit of 5,000 characters. 
you might want to just save the, the headings, event building and planning, um, if it's too big, still too big. We're getting there though. Animal husbandry, did we really talk about that? Okay, so anyway, this you can clean this up. Um, these might just be bullet points. You can use ASCII characters if you want to use bullets. That's if you look at different people's video descriptions there. Sometimes quite fancy. If you want to make bullets like this. Um, so right now, because we can't keep everything, I'm just making the headers. I'm not even going to clean it up. I don't want to take that much time to clean this up. You get the idea. All right, so we are under the 5,000 limit. And there it is. So we're going to hit next. It's going to ask us, is this about kids? No, it's not made for kids. Um, there's the video link, by the way, which we can save in our spreadsheet. Uh, but let's just keep going. Hit next. This video elements is not useful for us. It's already checked to make sure that there aren't any issues. There's no issues, so I'll hit next. Now this is a board meeting, so board meetings and you know uh, mostly are going to be unlisted. Private means that you can only share it to a limited number of people. I think that's 50. It's complicated, so instead of making it public, if we don't want it to be public, we make it unlisted. Anyone with the link can watch the video. Okay, and then we want to put this in a playlist, which I forget where that is. Is that in details? Playlist. Let me hit save. Well, we went right by the playlist part. We can we've ha we do have a playlist for um, board meetings that this can be put into. I think I passed that. Um, unlisted. Okay, if I want to edit this, we passed by the playlist step. There it is, playlists. So this can go in a playlist, sort of organize things together. Board meeting. Done. Okay, how are we doing on the steps? YouTube. Log in to our NWPCC YouTube. We did that by looking at the login stuff, going to a Gmail account, going to the Google Apps and choosing YouTube. Once we're logged into the right Gmail account, or right Google account, um, we uploaded the video to YouTube. We did the name and the description. In the description, um, in description, I think it's supposed to say put, <laughs> put HTTP, HTTPS, colon slash slash, north, I have to spell it right. Put our URL first, followed by a good description. The chat can be saved under the description, relevant parts like URLs. The AI trips transcript can also be under the description. Once deleted in Zoom, it's gone. That's a tip. I'm going to put tip here. Tip. Once um, we don't, we won't have the AI. Um, transcript once we delete it in Zoom. So the way we're preserving it is we're putting it in the description. Um, descriptions can be long, um, easier for searching and finding, especially if it's public. Choose status, public or unlisted. Um, meetings are usually unlisted. If content is something we might want to share publicly, the status can be public. For exa example, a speaker series uh, recording. 
Um, next, we're going to collect the YouTube URL in this Google Sheet to track the progress that we're doing with our management and also to uh, as a recording archive or an index. So you can click this and open it. I already have it open. There we go. All right. So the date of this recording, if, if I recall correctly, was March 24th. And if you want to know what date this is, it's the date when it was recorded. I put a note there when there's a little black corner like that. There's a note. There's one of those down here too. Okay, so that's the date it was recorded. The topic is a board meeting. Um, the YouTube link I just put on my clipboard. There it is. Remember I collected that from the end. Where else can you get it from? tags for SEO. But again, this is board meetings are unlisted, so education is a fine category. Okay, anyway, um, you can also view on YouTube and get the URL that way, of course. And you want to do Hi, this also. Hi, Julie Wolf here, Northwest Permaculture Convergence. I'm in the, the Google account for info... It's not the right video. <laughs> This is a different video. Okay, here's the dem demonstration video. So if I want to collect the URL, there's different ways of doing it. Get the shareable link. Link copy to clipboard, that's one way to do it. Um, anyway. At the end, there was a possibility of getting the URL, and that's where I got it from. And I'm pasting it in here. So this is the Zoom recording tracker, which allows us to keep track of how what we've done with the with the recordings, um, and how far your management has gotten. Have you deleted it from Zoom yet? No, I haven't. But I did delete this one, so I'm going to hit X. Okay, and. Who's managing this? Julie. And now this one linked to, again, there's a note with a little black uh, corner. Um, you might link this YouTube video to, for example, the meeting Google Doc, where we put our meeting notes. Um, you might link uh, a Zoom recording to a web page or the newsletter or the speaker series pages. Um, so there's different places that you might want to link this to. So that's what this column is for. The rest of these are not that important. Um, there's a notes at the end if you wanted to put any note. This is also a demo. <laughs> uh, Zoom management for, it was done for the tutorial. Okay, let's see how we're doing with the steps. That's it. We have completed part two. Yay, in 30 minutes. Part three is delete from Zoom. So you test it on YouTube. Are we on the right one? Let's open this up. Let's make sure it plays. And I don't think he actually said anything in here, but so we're going to use another video. This one. Um, this is another recording of how... Hi there, this is Ayub. Oh, it is playing. Anybody there? Yep, <laughs> that's on YouTube. Yep, so that's playing. Quick. Okay, so I checked it. I was showing you this other video. Once you have a new person doing the Zoom management, you want to forward Zoom emails to the new person. Um, so, especially if cloud recording has been disabled because we're over storage. 
Um, so that's what this YouTube video is about, and that is linked in here. Um, when someone new, there it is, when someone new takes over the Zoom care, here's how to forward Zoom email messages to another person. That's that video right here. So it's right in our Zoom management um, document. Okay, um, so once we've tested it, we've tested it on YouTube, it plays, we can now delete from Zoom. Um, reminder after saving to YouTube. So uh, I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna go to recordings. We're gonna find the March 11th board meeting. We can delete it. So I'm going to, where do I get to delete it? I think it'd be easier just to open it and hit delete. And this deletes all of the files. Again, this one only had two files. But anyway, move to trash. Um, it does say it can be recovered for the next 30 days, but we're making storage, we're making room for us to be able to um, have more recordings and not disable our, our Zoom recording capability by being over storage. Ta-da, deleted. That's step number three, basically. Optional, upload the chat and the audio to our Google Drive folder. This is the actual folder in our Google Drive that has everything with Zoom in it. So if you did want to save the AI transcript, the chat, maybe even the audio, if, you, if it's good content, you want to do a podcast, for any reason you want to save any of those, there's a place in our Zoom folder that you can do that. Uh, once all D, once all is saved and stored and recorded, it's okay to delete from your own local computer file storage system so you don't use up that one. So now that we've got that up on YouTube and we've even saved the AI and the chat in the YouTube description, um, we can actually go to this folder and just delete the folder. So it doesn't take up, videos are big part of the problem um, and this is open so I need to close it and the chat's probably open too and now I can delete it Ta-da! gone all right part three complete the only thing we have left is there's additional zoom management that might include um, answering the question how often should you delete zoom recordings and the answer could be, um, you know, so that you can make yourself a schedule for checking our Zoom account. Um, you could check the calendar. There's a link to our calendar on the on the website here. You can move back and forth, um, and you might also want to look at our speaker series page on our website because we may have an announcement of future uh, speakers or past dates of, of past speakers. So those, those are places that you can look and see. But basically, if you did this, it depends on how often, okay, the answer to how often you should do this is depending on how often we're recording Zoom recordings. Um, if there's community meetings and there's speaker series and there's board meetings, multiple things, uh, multiple times we're using Zoom recordings in a month, then we need to probably do this more often. Um, but anyways, you figure out what your, um, how often to check the Zoom account. Uh, basically, if you know that there was a meeting in Zoom, that we used Zoom, that's time to go and do, go through this process. Once you do it over and over again, it doesn't take very long at all. It's very, very quick. All right, here's another possible Zoom management. When someone new takes over Zoom care, here's how to, oh, I already said that. Here's how to forward a Zoom email uh, to another person, basically setting up a forwarding filter in, um, in the Gmail account. And lastly, um, if you're the person taking care of Zoom, you might want to do a Zoom cost report to the board secretary and or treasurer, including things like what is the billing date? It's January. Um, 
What's the cost amount? What's it going to cost us? It's an annual payment. And whose payment information is on record so that we don't charge a new, well, we'll, we'll have new board members, members potentially at the beginning of every year and the payment information might need to be changed um, if we have a different person on the bank account, for example, with a different um, debit card, etc. So check whose payment record is there so we don't have to um, reimburse somebody who shouldn't have been charged. And do this well before the due date in January, perhaps in December annually. So these are additional zoo management tips and we can add more. We can if more. If you can think of more, we can add more here. Thanks for watching. Northwest Permaculture Zoom Management Tutorial.